Hi everybody, it's Dan Weinberger here, CEO of Morpheus Network. Uh, super excited to be here today, show you guys an amazing demonstration from the platform. Joined today by Mr. COO himself, uh, Noam Eppel. Hey Noam, how's it going? Hey Dan, doing great. Uh, hey everyone, I am so excited to be able to share uh, the latest platform updates. The platform is looking amazing. Uh, let's jump right in. Yes, I agree. I'm, all, I'm also excited. Uh, just to let you know this is going to be an amazing peek uh, into uh, some of the new features. So log in right in, take you right to your opening screen. You guys remember this from the original uh, MVP video as well. Uh, some information about the platform, uh, you know, how we sort of came to be, and, uh, you know, we're, we're excited to tell people about that. Um, in addition here, um, some features of the platform, uh, you know, creating smart contracts, payment flows, uh, you know, document storage, automation, everything that's involved basically in, uh, in automating your business. So let's move right in here. Uh, this screen you guys saw before, there are some upgrades and additions to this as well. Uh, I will point out uh, a very noticeable upgrade in addition of this map down here. I uh, look forward to another demonstration with that map uh, with all the different functionality. <clears throat> so let's move ahead over here uh, to the uh, create contract screen over here. Uh, I'm just gonna put in a, uh, you know, uh, an invoice number just to get this going. Uh, pick a date over here. Let's move ahead. Uh, so for this uh, shipment detail screen, uh, you can fill in each one of these fields, uh, but for this demonstration, uh, what we're gonna do is just use our, our template. Uh, makes it a lot easier just to you know select it. You can put in your information and save your template and then reload that information later if you wish, just like a template should work. Uh, simple as that. Uh, you have your, your items involved, uh, you know, your, your quantity, your cost per, we even put in your, your duty rates and all that right into the, uh, right into the original contract setup. Uh, so let's, um, let's move ahead here, uh, save these details and, and go towards our module screen. Uh, this is where all the action happens here. This is where you're setting up your smart contract. Uh, there's some amazing functionality in here. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna focus specifically on a couple functions. Uh, so let's scroll down here. Uh, a few awesome things we're skipping by, but that's okay. Uh, we do our QR code scanner, and we're also gonna do uh, a payment schedule. Uh, so basically, we're going to use a QR code scan to send off a payment, and then let's do uh, an email as well, uh, sort of as a, as a notification following a completed payment as well. Uh, so you can see how easy it is to slide those over. Um, and then as well, uh, we're going to configure uh, our QR code scan. I'm going to give you all a few different options here with the QR code. Uh, you can download the actual QR code itself. You can send it off as an email. I'm going to put in my buddy Noam on the video as well. Uh, you can, you know, get the QR code text and send it off in that fashion too. So we do give you a few different options uh, in order to use your, your QR code scan as you need to. Now the QR code, there's so much functionality that's involved uh, with a simple module like this. Uh, this simple module uh, will actually allow you to attach a QR code uh, to you know, a pallet within a warehouse, uh, to one of your shipments, uh, to one of your products that you, know, you wanna follow down the line within your warehouse. Uh, these QR codes not only uh, you know, sort of trigger the next step in your smart contract, uh, but they actually allow you to view everything that's related to that QR code scan that's been scanned in the past that's recorded on the blockchain. So the history uh, of that product itself, that item, that pallet, uh, you know, whoever scanned it in the past, uh, it can contain information, you know, of the commodity uh, of the items as well. Uh, so really that QR code, uh, we're very excited about, you know, having that as a part of the platform. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of different RFID and QR codes, you know, triggers that we can, you know, so, sort of show you over time. Uh, but this, this is a really amazing functional uh, QR code scanner that's connected to the blockchain and, and, you know, pushing ahead smart contracts, supply chain smart contracts, which we're super excited about. So uh, moving ahead here, um, we also have to uh, configure our payment. Uh, so you can see it's been configured, everything's ready to go. Uh, we're gonna move ahead now with our, our payment schedule as well. Uh, now when configuring this, you get a couple options here. Uh, you can choose a crypto payment, you can choose a fiat payment. For this demonstration, I'm gonna show you a fiat payment, which is more common in today's global trade world. Uh, and for this demo as well, uh, you, you know, you can add you know, general additional terms, uh, a deposit due. 
Let's put that for this and then put a, you know, select a template. Once again, similar to the contract setup, uh, you gave these individual templates. We have it built in, obviously, for this payment specific. Uh, there is some, uh, you know, private information that I'm noticing on here. So you, we might have to blur out a little bit of that. Uh, but this is an actual, uh, you know, payment setup uh, showing everybody specifically how the, uh, you know, funds of one currency could be put in uh, and converted on the other end and deposited in the account of the receiver on the other end. Uh, so as you can see, what else is figured in here, um, automatically calculated is your MRPH. That MRPH uh, is what specifically is being utilized to drive this uh, transaction forward. Uh, that is a utility token itself that is on the back end of the platform. Uh, that MRPH uh, that you're seeing calculated there uh, is actually being utilized to record all the specifications of this entire global trade smart contract. Um, so yeah, it's it's the utility uh, is something that we're excited to show people. Uh, we're going to show you more information about that uh, with our wallets and how you could set up, you know, put more MRPH in your wallet or just use it as a full backend process and not have to store it either. So uh, here are some, uh, you know, amazing conversions. We're going to send it off as Korean won based on this conversion here from USD. Uh, so let's push it forward here with the smart contract and you can see this pay payments now configured uh, And we're going to configure our, our Morpheus email. Uh, so basically when the trigger of the uh, scheduled payment completes uh, This will actually send off an email message uh, You know for for a business that can be something as simple as uh, you know as a thank you uh, You know as, as a reminder for maintenance uh, anything like that, but for this specifically Let's just send a little bit of a personal message for this demonstration here No Good message. All right. It's for you. It's personal for you. All right. So there's our message there. Let's save these changes. And if you look at our, our smart contract, all three objectives are configured. Uh, this smart contract, you could also add to it. You can duplicate if you want to send another email message, duplicate for another payment as well. Uh, it's as simple as that. We have that all built in. Uh, and once again, uh, you can see here we have 11 different templates, smart contracts built in. You can save this template. I'll show you. You save it in here. And in the future, if you wanted to reload the smart contract again, you just hop right back into your templates and there it is saved, in, you know, saved in your system there as, as for this demonstration sample number 12. Uh, so now that that's completed, uh, we are ready to deploy uh, and save the contract. Uh, takes us to our uh, view contract screen. Now it is deployed. It is in progress, as you can see that INV88. Uh, we have that search feature uh, that's very easy to use. Uh, you can, you know, basically look up uh, any one of your invoices based on destination, based on you know the, the origin, based on the invoice number. Uh, you know. Be more specific the invoice numbers or less specific so we'll go right to the, our, our INV888 our specific smart contract that we just set up uh, we're gonna take a look at the progress of it now uh, so as you can see uh, the QR code scanner uh, says in progress so that was something that was emailed off directly to uh, my uh, my partner and mr. CEO Noam Eppel himself so Noam, uh, if you can actually open up your email uh, and take a look at the QR code that was sent to you and if you can pick up your cell phone and actually physically scan that code as well, please. Okay, great. So I, I have my inbox open right now and I did receive the email. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll take a screenshot of this email and I'll uh, add it to the video. Um, so you want me to just take a picture of it with my phone, correct? Just scan it. You don't even have to take a picture of it. You could just snap a photo if you want, but just scan it. Okay, done. All right, perfect. Now we're watching this, this screen over here. Uh, in progress means that, that email was sent. Uh, now we're just waiting for this to update through the system. There you can see the, the verification completed. That's because Noam scanned that. Thank you for the, you know, your help on that. And it's actually hashed on the blockchain. That's what that transaction hash is right there. What's going to happen next uh, is that payment schedule is actually going to be sent off uh, right to the Swift hub. Uh, so we can actually look at this, this hashed uh, QR code scan uh, through our specific uh, morph scan. Uh, this is our 
uh, viewer of the blockchain, our specific viewer. So uh, this is actually going to show you even more information uh, the way you can see on Etherscan or any other you know UI viewer specifically. So uh, I'm excited to get you know another demonstration for you guys to show you even more details uh, of what you guys can see uh, in this Morph Scan viewer as well. So uh, a little bit of a sneak peek uh, into viewing specifically our, our blockchain explorer. Um, now that payment request was request was sent. Uh, and you can see you get it hashed as well what was sent off. That is your MT101, uh, which is the file that our platform uh, gets to initiate that, that transfer itself, that wire transfer. Um, so basically now because the request, the request was sent to Swift, uh, you know, we get that transaction hash. Um, you know, the next step, obviously, uh, is this Morpheus email uh, that's going to be sent off. So basically it's once that confirmation of the payment comes through, uh, we're able to get this email sent off. Emails completed as well, uh, and once again we have a, a transaction hash that comes up for that email as well. So that's all recorded as well, based on uh, the passage of their token. So uh, let's go back to our screen, view our smart contract, take a quick peek uh, at our, our viewer here, which gives you just the basic specifications uh, of your global trade itself, uh, the contract details, uh, you know, the payment terms. Uh, you know, basically what, what has happened and that it was completed. Everything has been completed because I had a successful, uh, fully deployed, uh, completed smart contract there. Uh, you can also take a look here. Uh, this is a link right to uh, the transaction on Etherscan. Uh, now, on Etherscan, you can see 33 seconds ago um, that this completed. Uh, now, taking a look here, you have to, uh, let's see, scroll down. It was, it was a success. Um, View it here. There we go, and you can see right here uh, that the QR code is mentioned, uh, that the email was sent off as well, that the payment was you know completed as well. So everything here is recorded on the blockchain on the test net. Uh, we're real excited about you know being able to show people that this is the information that is contained forever on the blockchain. So going back to the platform, that is a full smart contract completed, a QR code scan, uh, firing off a payment. Uh, you can, you know, go back over here, take a look and see our, our payment, you know, did complete. We'll take a look at our payment status actually as well. Uh, just because, you know, this actually shows us what we received back uh, from the banking system, from the fiat system. Uh, so we sent off this MT101 file uh, and we received back this MT900 file. Uh, this is confirmation that the funds are sent off. This is confirmation from a fiat perspective that the funds are sent off. And not only that, but it's hashed on a blockchain. So forever, you can always go back to this payment, see exactly what happened, exactly where the funds were taken out, uh, and we have all that great information over there. So um, that is that is the completed uh, payment process involved with a QR code scan. Uh, you know, that was actually scanned uh, by Noam himself uh, and uh, once again done live for you uh, right through the platform. Uh, now, aside from that, uh, what I'd like to do uh, is actually bring in uh, someone who knows uh, a little bit more information about, uh, you know, uh, payment processes. You know, you see our, our dashboard here. It's showing us that our, our smart contract is complete. So that, that's all that we can show you with this specific deployed smart contract. Uh, so I'm going to bring in who's, who's on the line as well. Uh, we have Winston from Access Pay. Uh, they are the 2017 Swift GPI award winners. Uh, Winston, uh, how you doing today, bud? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. Himself? Very well, thank you. So basically, uh, we just showed this demonstration of uh, an MT101 uh, followed by an MT900 uh, being returned to us through the banking system. Uh, wondering if you can give us a little bit more information uh, on what we saw there. Yeah, sure. So the MT101 is the uh, the instruction that moves from, from yourselves to your bank provider, and that's really giving them authority to debit the funds from your account and send those across to the, the, the target destination. Um, to the remitter. The MT900 is the confirmation that the bank sends back to yourself to confirm when those funds have been debited from your account. The issue is you don't know when they've reached their destination. That's great. Thanks for that. Um, now, uh, you know, Access Pay 2017, you guys won the SWIFT uh, GPI award. You guys should be very proud of that, obviously. Uh, we're excited to be working with you guys because of that as well, uh, amongst other things. Uh, can you talk a little bit uh, about what Access Pay uh, offers us? Uh, a little bit extra. Sure. So, Swift GPI, I guess a bit of background on that. Uh, Swift GPI is essentially a DHL tracking service 
for payments. Um, it allows you to track the, your payment from the moment it leaves your bank until it reaches the destination um, that you send it to. Um, Access Pay and Swift are working together with a number of banks. And what we're doing is, is bringing this to the corporate, bringing this to yourselves, um, to be able to know not just when you've, your account has been debited, the MT900, but also to know and confirm once the funds have reached their destination, giving you real-time visibility on the settlement of those payments. You know, it's really, really great working with the Access Pay team. Uh, you know, all of you guys, uh, Graham, Jack, uh, you know, James, uh, yourself, Winston, obviously, I just want to ask, you know, it's kind of a funny question. How is it working with us? How's it working with Morpheus Network? Uh, talk, you know, tell us a little bit about that if you can. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we've, we've discussed this on several occasions. It's, it's fast paced, right? It, it moves very quickly. It's not like working with a, a, the normal corporate that we're used to. Um, very different, very fun and very innovative. So, you know, it's, it's been great for us as well. That was great. Thank you so much uh, again. Not to worry. Uh, and, you know, I'm going to turn it back over to, to Noam. Uh, so talk a little bit more about, about the demo there and, uh, and what we have in store. Yes, thanks so much, Dan. Uh, I hope you all really liked the uh, latest look at the platform. Uh, just a small preview at some of the progress. We have so much more to share with you. Uh, features like custom document generation and document storage directly on the blockchain, uh, wallets, uh, our own sidechain, uh, layering other blockchain technologies within our smart contract, uh, integration with major, major shipping companies to use as objectives within the smart contract, um, interactive map functionalities, awesome communication tools, uh, KYC integration, and really so much more. And we're so excited to uh, share some more of those features with you. And so when's the next demo video? Within days. So uh, I hope you liked it today and stay tuned for so much more. Thank you so much.